Hello and welcome back to one more interesting session with Web ID and UI5. In this session, we are going to understand how to create our own plugin. I will give you a small demo of how we can utilize plugin to speed up our development process and take it forward. So this is a simple plugin which I have put inside edit. I will go to quick code. This is my plugin, a Jax code. Once I select that, I will have a simple code snippet coming out in my web ID. So one of the problem which I face a lot is I'm not good at remembering code. And whenever that happens, I used to go in multiple files to find the snippet. And I'm not a very good person to remember the exact syntax of a particular command. I can combine multiple things, but this is really difficult for me to remember. And also I find that it's not useful to remember the syntax word by word. So what I did is I created a simple plugin where I can have multiple syntax just come in the editor as soon as I press on that particular command. So here I have only put a JAX code and um, the JAX code is coming. I can have multiple different type of scripts, snippets added within that particular quick code and this will allow me to write code much faster and um, nicely and also correctly as well. So this is one plugin which I have created and we will be also covering how to do that plugin development within the web ID. And on top of that, we will be also covering the promises. Promises is one of the most important feature which you are seeing lately a lot in UI5 application or in any JavaScript library development. A lot of us are not sure how to use promises. Promises is pretty simple to write once you understand how to use promises. So I will be also covering promises in UI5 application, which will help you to make your code much more asynchronous and robust. So let's catch up in the next section where we start with plugin development with WebID. And I hope that you will have wonderful time learning this skill set and utilizing this to your favor in your development.